So if you want to turn your photos from portrait to landscape or landscape to portrait, there's a few different ways to do it in Photoshop and it's super easy. So let's get started. The first thing that you might want to do is just basically take a photo that is vertical and just rotate it. And that's really easy to do by going to image, image rotation, and then choosing your desired rotation. So in this case, I'll do 90 degrees counterclockwise. And now my vertical photo has been corrected back to landscape. Now the next thing you might wanna do is take a landscape photo like this one and turn it into a portrait or a vertical photo. Now the easiest way to do that is using the crop tool. So you can access the crop tool by pressing C on your keyboard. And then in the options bar, you'll see your crop ratio presets. Now in here, you can choose between a few different options Options, but let's just say you want to post this up on Instagram or something. So I'm going to choose the four by five crop. That's going to set my crop overlay into a vertical crop. So that way you no longer have a horizontal crop overlay. From there, I can go and position this over the new area that I'd like, and I can go and click the check mark to commit to those changes. Now, before you commit to any changes though, I'd recommend that you make sure delete cropped pixels is unchecked. The reason for that is because if you want to go and adjust this crop later on, if delete cropped pixels is checked, that means everything outside of your cropping box will be completely deleted and you cannot get it again. So by leaving that unchecked, you can have some room for adjustments down the road if needed. So with that all set and good to go, I'll press the check mark to save those changes. And now my landscape or horizontal photo is now vertical. So that was pretty easy, right? Well, it's a little bit different when you're trying to take a portrait photo and turn it into landscape. And let me show you why. In this example, let's try to do the exact same thing as before by accessing the crop tool by pressing C and then we'll go and choose a horizontal ratio. So let's just do four by five again. And now to make it landscape, we can press X on the keyboard and now we have a landscape crop. Now the problem with this is that I'm willing to bet you probably don't want to crop your photo this much. You're basically sacrificing half of your portrait photo in order to convert it to landscape. So luckily there's actually a sneaky little way to extend your portrait photos into landscapes without having to crop your photo drastically. So I'm just going to cancel that and set my crop setting to width height resolution. I'm gonna extend this up to the edges of my photo like so. And now this is where the important part comes in. Make sure the content aware option is checked in the options bar. Now I'm gonna zoom out and I'll just drag this over like so, and then drag this over as well so that my subject is centered. Now, once you're happy with the dimensions of the photo, I'm gonna press the check mark. Photoshop will work its magic and with that content aware fill option selected, it's going to take all of that transparent area that was just added to your photo and try to fill it with something else to make your photo feel as if it's one piece. This is essentially extending the background in your photo. Now, as you can see here, it has successfully extended the background, but there are a few little hiccups that need to be touched up in this case. Luckily, that's really easy to do by creating a new layer, then selecting the healing brush tool, and I can just sample by holding Alt or Option, and then just paint over the areas that are being an issue, and that will get rid of them for me to essentially create a nice seamless background. So that looks pretty good to me, but there is some limitations to this tool, because as you can probably tell in this example, the background is pretty darn simple. It's just a solid color. What if we tried to do this on a photo that had a more complicated background? For example, this photo right here. I'll once again, grab the crop tool, make sure content aware is checked, and I'm gonna just do the exact same thing as before, clicking and dragging out the cropping box there to turn our portrait photo into landscape or horizontal, and I'll press the check mark to save those changes. Photoshop will once again try to do the content aware fill wizardry that it does, and try to fill in that transparent area. But this time, look at how messy this is, because there's a bunch of repeating patterns. It's repeated the edge of this glass multiple times on both sides of the photo. And this is because Photoshop had a really limited area to sample from when it was trying to extend your background with content to our fill. Now, a workaround to this is using something called content aware scale, which I talk about in another tutorial that you can find right here, where I talk all about the best ways to extend backgrounds in Photoshop, even if you have complicated textures just like this one. So that way you can turn a portrait photo into a landscape even if you have a more complex background like you see here. 